Hello guys, my name's Kit, and as many of you might know, the Axon 7 recently got the Nougat update. This means that Daydream is now available, and today I'm just gonna test it out now. Alright, so here's the Daydream viewer. I put it in the middle like this. Alright, oops, one second. All right, okay, so I'm gonna record this. So I'm gonna put this in the middle, like so, and then the phone, the text that it's in the Daydream Viewer, and it turns off the power button so that it doesn't misclick it. So now I'm gonna switch over to the phone. All right. Okay. Then I gotta turn off my camera. And cool, cool, cool. Let's see, I'll just adjust my viewer very quickly. Nice. <clears throat> okay, to get started, aim forward and hold the home button. We're having trouble finding your controller. Oh, there. Cool. All right, so, uh, holy crap, it's like super laggy with the, with the recorder, with the screen recorder. Oh my god, oh, this is, this is so weird playing with this much lag. But all right, so, I'm not going to bother changing it, but this is, yeah, this is the Daydream UI. As you can see here, there's a bunch of apps and stuff. Uh, yup, all of these apps. And then, cool. So the first one I, uh, that I want to preview is the, uh, let's see, a game. So this is 405 Road Rage. I bought this already, so, I mean, I didn't buy it, but uh, I installed it. Oh, shit. Okay, turn on. Okay, make the volume lower a bit. Alright. Alright, so we're in the game now. And... Okay, I'm just gonna play it. Let's do this. Okay. So in this game, it wants you to hold the controller sideways and then use the touchpad buttons to accelerate the car and you could turn the controller to move your car all right so i'm just gonna play a little bit of this to demo it out but, oh shoot oh okay um i blame that on the on the fact that the fps is like really low not really low but like Mess me up. Alright, let's try this again. Let's do this. Okay. I wonder how well this will show up in the editing process. Okay. Move this way and then that way. Cool. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, whatever. It's not about my gaming skills. This is about demoing this out. Okay, back to very horrible lag. Uh, I'm not going to preview the photos app because it has my personal photos and I do not want to show you guys my personal photos. Let's go on next VR. So this one is actually pretty cool. Um, it lets you look at sports. Um, like 360 sports video and it's kind of like YouTube except for yeah sports and let's see the one I watch was US Open Tennis and oh my god okay one second I need to adjust the headset cuz like it's looking very blurry it's looking a bit blurry for me yeah so, by the way, uh, I'm someone who wears glasses, so if you wear glasses, 
Um, your mileage may vary, but oh, okay, there's this little uh, logo in, behind me. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just. Dang, it's like blurrier than usual. I'm not sure if this is the headset or if this is this is the fact that there's a uh, recording software going on right now. But let's go on the U.S. Open tour. All right. Uh, tour, the U.S. Open. Blah. Okay. Let's play. Okay. Now it's taking a while to load. But oh, okay. Now we have it. And by the way, as I'm watching this, there's. Hi there. I'm Billie Jean King, and okay. it's my pleasure to welcome you to my house, Mi Casa, the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. We've done some renovating here, and I think you're going to love what we've done. Uh, this is really bad with the low well, frame rate. To the U.S. Open Court of Champions. Where is she? The oh, she's not here. Okay. Ever to win this remarkable event. Hey, that one looks familiar. Uh, let's quit out of this. Sorry, guys, that wasn't the one that I wanted to show you. There was like, there was this one where they were playing tennis. Maybe it was this one. Uh, yeah, let's try this one. Okay. It's women's tennis. The one I saw was men's tennis, but let's check this one out. Okay. And uh, by the way, as as I'm viewing this with my Daydream viewer, there's some light refracting from the sides and it's going into the headset. And you can actually see a bit of light. So that's just something to take note of. Carolina Pliskova and the number two seed, Angelique Kerber. Angelique captured the Australian Open title and was a runner-up at Wimbledon and will become the world's number one ranked player after this tournament. Pliskova, who ousted both Williams sisters on the road to the final, is in her first Grand Slam championship match on the far end. Pliskova showed some early nerves as Kerber breaks in the first game and breaks again to take the first set 6-3. But midway through the second set, Kerber is the one under pressure. All right, and I'm just going to quit out of this now. I think that's enough. All right. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, in the Daydream UI, there's this nice virtual landscape that you see behind me. And... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to... I want to check out my apps. This is Horizons VR. Let's check this one out. What's this one? I downloaded it, but... Um, I forgot what it was. Horizons. Shit. Start. Oh, okay. There it is. And uh, one thing to note, if there's like dust on your lens, you will definitely see it. Um, in parts where it's, just, where it's just all black and there's light refactoring into, your, into the size of the headset, You'll see the noise. I mean, you'll, you'll see the dust. Uh, okay, let's see. What's this? 
The scene contains three chapters of color music. Follow the instructions to activate the controls and bring the force to life. Cool. Waves. Alright. And oh yeah, um, inside this virtual space, you'll see your little controller here. And um, usually, it'll show the actual daydream controller, like, not this oval shaped thing uh, and I'll have like buttons on it okay I'll, I'll just show you guys later let's go on go on to this horizons loading cool I found that like it takes a bit of time for my eyes to get used to to the VR because like in the first five minutes it's kind of blurry, but now now it's a bit is a bit all right. It's still still a little bit blurry, might be because um, of the fact that the FPS is kind of low. That might have something to do with it. Okay. Oh, what is this? This looks point. It's around me. Okay. Point. Let's click on this. What do you want me to do? I'm clicking on it. Oh, be still, okay? Oh yeah, and by the way, when, whenever you see me do that, I'm holding uh, um, a button on the controller to recenter where I am. And you might have to do this sometimes because your controller gets out of sync. So whenever you see me do that, it's because of that. So now what does it? Pick up. Pick up. Yeah. Okay. Drop here. Drag. Repeat. Uh, something I would recommend is when you're using this um, VR headset, you should turn off the lights, then you won't really like notice the light, the outside light as much. Okay, so got out of sync, so I press the button, now it's in sync. Oh, what's so let's put there? Okay, this is boring. All right. Um, I find that I I enjoy the the lighter uh, VR stuff better. Um, when it's just like a dark background, it's it's kind of hard to see, or it's difficult for my eyes to make out what's happening. Uh, might just be me though, cause I I have glasses, so yeah. Let's go to YouTube VR. Okay. One second, I'm just going to turn off my lights. Alright, I turned off a bit of my lights. It's better. Okay.
uh it's so like super low oh okay is the fact that it is really an organic response it's super to low quality that we've seen in society and i think that it is a recognition of the many forms of discrimination that's what feminism is that's who we are Let's see i'm gonna go to youtube all right let's see Wingsuit 360. Yeah, let's check this one out. All right, and then. Christ. Whoa. This is actually super cool. Shit. Yeah, one bad thing about VR is that, like, there's so much to see that you just don't know what to focus on. Okay. That's cool. Uh, let's go let's recenter. Uh, Samsung VR. All right, all of these are super long. Okay, let's go back to the apps. And all right, let's demo out one more thing. Oh, let's do Street View. All right, so let's do, let's do something, uh, let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, so now I can show you guys. So here, like, it will show you the controller, and it's, it's kind of cute because it has a G on it, but then, so, uh, whenever you swipe on the touchpad, it will show that circle to show where your hand or your hand is and there's buttons uh, for where the yeah for the controller buttons so yeah it's just a needle uh, feature that they decided to add okay 2016 I don't know which one um let's do volcanoes sounds cool uh, actually, no, never mind. It's gonna be rocks. Um, psh. don't okay. Let's try this one TV and film sets. Maybe lots of cool stuff to look at. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's Conan O'Brien's film set. This is actually super neat. So yeah, you could explore around the space by clicking on the circles indicating where the spaces are. And if the frame rate wasn't shit, then maybe this would be a more enjoyable experience. Not because uh, the app is usually shit, it's just that I have video recording software on right now. So, alright, what else? Oh, menu. 
Okay. Now let's let's look at look at this more. Let's go here. Hmm. Oh yeah, when you're spinning around, it'll definitely uh mess with the controller synchronization. So so then you would just need to click on the circle button as you can see there to recenter it. Hmm. Cool stuff. All right, and let's go back. Cool. All right, and uh Oh shoot, I'm feeling disoriented right now. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow, that lag. Feeling drunk. Okay. Not that I've ever drank. Um So yeah, that is pretty much my demo of Daydream v VR on the Axon 7. Uh if you guys want me to check out any apps specifically, then go ahead and comment below. I probably won't because I'm hella busy with school and shit. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Peace.